So I think momentum is definitely a double-edged sword uh, for a lot of teams uh, because while you can ride it and you can use that confidence to um, you know, keep things going and keep plays happening, it also can, can go a little too far um, to where you know, now we're not as structured, we're trying too many silly things. Um, so going into scrims is very important that we understood what our weaknesses were in the week before and we touch on it and make sure that we have goals for working on this now. And so it's uh, getting players focused. The key is gonna be making sure that, you know, we are staying as productive as possible. Even though we're at a high right now, we need to keep that going. A lot of teams will fall into that trap of, all right, we've already met our goal of having a good stage, but we need to make sure that we finish with a great stage. Shock is gonna be an interesting matchup. I think there's a lot of community hype around both me and Krusty. And it's gonna be this interesting, uh, you know, kind of coach rivalry that I'm excited for. So they are pretty strong right now since the new coach and they can they are kinda of in the same way than us I guess. Like they they, they know what to do. I think we, we had the game. Uh, I think we can win. Not super easy, but it's gonna be hard of course. But. Uh, more so than just having a good game against Shock, we need to control that series from start to finish and so that's our goal. Go ahead and bring out your next squad, it's the Dallas Fuel! Now, the interesting thing is San Francisco Shock still loves to run dive, and without a Brigitte, oh, oh Tai would be has been doing that a lot lately. Trying to get in close, and there's a the Graviton Surge. Here comes a combo. Dragon Strike going right through. I don't think they're going to be able to hold this for too long. Nope, that is it. So San Francisco Shock will get a hold on defense, and they will win Hollywood. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Big one that can end Shock's attack pretty quick. Gonna rotate around, get ready for the defense. Oh, and he just gets it! Oh, what the what? Wow, that was a devastating earth shatter from OGE. Been winning a lot of those Widow v Widows. He gets Sleepy again, that's a pick that opened it up for them last time. Mickey gets Sinatra as well. It's a 6v4, it's a 6v3, it's a 6v1. In as OGE continues to get these ridiculous OGE. cards in. More like OMG as he comes in and single-handedly puts Dallas right back in the fight. Ah! Dallas Fuel even it up here on Hanamura. I don't have to do anything. Woo! Mark takes damage, but yeah, that's the plan anyway. Baby oh. Bang coming in from behind with the dead eye. Architect being distracted. He already killed Harry Hook. He killed Harry Hook with the ultimate up. Wow. Dallas Fuel just completely outclassed here on Oasis. San Francisco Shock will take about as clean a 2-0 you can on this map. And Nice! Don't put it up again! Nice, 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 nice. might have uh, pushed their way through here. Off the rally. Bot flew right next to me and got stunned once again during his... Pick it up, Bot! Pick it up, Bot! Don't be, don't be, don't be! A really tough... Damn, has to drop to the low ground. He can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sinatra right now. OGE down, Sinatra gets that kill. Manages to avoid Mickey. Gets the kill on Mickey anyway. I suppose that's one way to not have to worry about him. Three kills as he gets Harry Hook. Sinatra came up huge in that one, and San Francisco Shock will take the win. Everyone handled the loss pretty well, I think. Well, of course, we were disappointed. You know, we wanted to win. We, we prepped a lot for that match. We definitely felt like it was us making mistakes and not necessarily us being just completely blown out of the water, which uh, when we adapt that mindset of, okay, we're going to fix these things rather than, oh, man, we just got demolished. There's a, you know, it's two totally different mindsets that we were using the positive side to be able to work on our weaknesses and fix them rather than wallow in, in, in losing. Just shake off this loss, all right? Felt good going into it, but that's okay. We're still improving, we're still getting better, and that's what matters, all right? Our focus is making sure that we're good through the rest of the stage. So, shake it off. The important thing is stay confident, all right? As long as we're better tomorrow, than we are today, then we will meet our goals. And that's important, okay? So keep your heads up. You guys did great today, okay? Coming off a, a match like this, I think it was a very competitive series overall, and we learned a lot. And we were able to take this and use it to adapt in the future. And I'm glad that we had this kind of loss now rather than later on in the stage, because as we're getting closer to the playoff, we are able to take those weaknesses, shore them up, and then be able to focus on making our play better. 
in looking at the London match, we've scrimmed London a few times, and overall we had good performances against them. We were pretty confident we knew how they were gonna play, the things they were gonna play, and so we, we were super confident in practice. We definitely didn't want to underestimate London. Individually, they have very, very talented players. Our goal was to come in strong, as strong as possible. We wanted to make sure that we had a good plan for each map, for each point, for each composition, for everything. And we did, and we executed it very well. Support up front. You do want to still get that healing. They do have two healers up front, though. Now the dive will come in and punish immediately to them. There it is. That's what it's all about. Make it stick it to the game plan. Shut down the tracer. Mickey, the blade comes in, though. Might be the only hope for London here. What is this? Completely one-sided fight. Dallas wins Blizzard win. Perfect play from Dallas. Alter phase, trying to throw some alts and then make the switch to two-minute warning if you have to. Nice! There we go, that's beautiful. This is going to be the last push. They have to win this fight. Uncle has been going ham today. Oh, that was beautiful! Then over, Jester's at half HP. Time who sees it as well. Straight focus, he's dead. One tick is all Dallas needs to have one of the quickest Lunar performances yet. Beautiful. It's all coming together here for Dallas, and they get the job done as clean as could be. Dallas Fuel take a quick 2-0 lead here over the London Spitfire. With them, and that opened the doors here for London Spitfire. Time who again with the zoning dead. Shields. Just, he's gonna play a patient, and there we go, gets the kill on Jester. Right, not gonna allow him to get the remake, but Nuss and Jester making it close. Couple of kills there, Prophet trying to hang in here, but he's gonna get overwhelmed. Mickey plowing through him right now, flailing him all to death. Very good game the other day, not gonna be the case. Desperation time comes in, but this one's all over, but the crying. Dallas Fuel will take the series in convincing fashion, 3-0. Overall, I think the team's doing very well. At this point, we've, you know, we've already passed the, the most wins we've ever gotten in a stage, which is a, a very uh, crucial milestone uh, for all the players, for their confidence, uh, for just momentum going into the end of the stage. Plus, going looking at season two, I think it's important for us to be able to have that hope and that tangible thing that we can look at to say, you know, this is you know, our best stage. This is where we can be, even with just a little bit of work. Uh, looking at uh, what the future looks like for us, it's very important for us to have uh, a performance like we've had currently. And, and um, while the stage has been going really well so far, I think there's still a long way for us to go um, in, in becoming the best team that we can be. Because there's always room to grow, and I always want to push myself, my staff, my players to be at that level too, um, where there's always room to grow. There's always things that you can do better, you just got to find it.